we're, we're at this crossroads and we're probably about what 20 minutes into the hike on the day four we just passed Rowan Dowen the town and you come to this little intersection there's a path that goes down which follows the lake and there's one that goes up and the recommendation is to take the one that goes up the one that goes down is kind of scrubby brushy uh, much narrower Rocks and runs right next to the lake you're going to get lots of better views but it is hard going and you're going to be looking down the entire time because you're negotiating roots and trees the upper is it seems counterintuitive but people say go on the on the upper because it's easier and it all meets back up again in another mile or so yeah so we're going to take the upper plus we've got rain and uh, i don't want make some more mud. i don't want plants wet plants rubbing up against my beautiful skin yeah it rains for about i'd say 15 maybe max 20 minutes and kind of blue skies come out and the birds start to sing hang in there little Change. there's a little sprinkling of pine needles on the path to make it softer about an hour 20 into the hike on day four Almost like a rainforest with all that moss. So if you were on the low road, this is where you would come up and you'd meet this bigger road and then down the path we go. Yeah, and it kind of clears out. A little partly cloudy. People pay for money for a lot of people like that. Huh. Show the cookie. Yeah. This is a long lake. I mean, we've been hiking for three days. Well, now that's a nicer looking beach. Well, it could be a lot more scenic. Uh, this part if you went by the lake <clears throat> it's a little bit like Costa Rica you get that it can rain in the morning and then just come out of nowhere it comes back in and it rains again and then it blows through questionable whether taking that lower road would have been more pretty. Huh. Boy, the weather ch change is pretty quick. You know, within a matter of 30 minutes, from bright and sunny to cloudy and getting ready to dump some more on us. So, 
be prepared. Oh. I think Mrs. says, let's get to our room. <laughs> Attention a second. deserved reward for another five days of hiking. Any accommodations? Inverse nade. Day five. We just left the Inverse N hotel. in the trail for about 15 minutes this is where a front pack is not your friend you can't quite see it's a lot rough for this part no two ways about it you haven't uh We're sick Lake Lamond. We're about an hour, day five. with people's. Yeah, it's really not. <clears throat> this is slightly arduous. <laughs> it's a lot of Uppity duppity, uppity uppity. Tired of that joy. Is this the end of our lock?
I saw that there's a, they call it a ball thing. So yeah. I didn't know what that I mean, it looks like we're near the end of the lake. Yeah, I think so. I think that's the end of the lake. Hmm. One hour. Oh, really? Oh, man. <laughs> Got one point. Those aren't Canadian geese. Those Scottish geese. Huh. I just want to sit here for 30 minutes and then we've only got 15. Look that way. <laughs> anyway, we only got 15 minutes. Things here. Right. So they're going over to that little community. Yeah. I think I'm getting it without a drone shot. Don't you? Yeah. Oh. One end of the lake. Probably 30 minutes from our destination, day five. Oh. Day six, this is what the morning looks like. Just had our breakfast. This is what the inside of our house looks like. The 100 and how much? 110? 110. 110 pounds. Probably close to 150. So these are not cheap bowls. Oh, but you got your own bathroom. You do have your own bathroom. You water, running water. And if you look at those little pods over there, they're like 85 bucks. So 85 pounds, 85 yeah. pounds. You have to use community. So if you look along this window, this this is this is midgets. These are midgets. They're only stuck on here because of the moisture on the thing. But that's what that's what a stack of that's what that's what's in the house or can be in the house, and they're all over the place right now. Ouch. Little misty little morning. Well, Probably about 72 degrees, maybe. Would be a nice place to hang out for a bit. Nice little gorge. We're about two hours into day six. Day six. Not really feel cool. It's getting hot, hot now. There's a, another pool. Right in front of the chief. Is it a tent up there? I think so. About two and a half hours into how long? We've been walking. Ah, we're about a, two miles into day six. <clears throat> Started with some drizzle for about an hour and 20 minutes kind of faded out but it seems like we still have this weather ahead of us that's yeah, wet uh, I think we're gonna low uh, tunnel ahead we're making it quite clear is this it? 
Central Scottish little town, just a herd of sheep everywhere. Herd of sheep. Apparently, this area, all of these mountains were forestrated at one point, and so they blame it on the English for coming in and clear cutting, and uh, they're in the process of regrowthing. So it's hard to say if you're looking at the original forest or whether this is grown within the last 50 years or so. Got a little forest operation going on here, chopping down the trees. They don't have much, but they have some. It must be hidden in those. Which house? B and B. This is room two. A little bit of closet space. Lovely little breakfast. It's a functional bathroom. Nice little shower. A little hot rag. Sylvia, this is Sylvia. We've had a nice, wonderful stay. This is the breakfast area here. We've got a lovely homemade breakfast. And this is the communal area that you can stay and hang out in if you're uncomfortable in your room. <laughs> <laughs> 